Onshape comes with libraries of standard hardware that you can use to insert components into your assemblies. Here I have an assembly open. Let's go to the insert button. Right now it shows me the objects in my current document. You could go to other documents. And over on the right we have this standard content selection. From the drop down list you can choose whether you want to do ANSI components, DIN, ISO, NAS, PEM, and SAE. Let's take a look at a few of these different choices. Let's start off with an ANSI fastener. From this drop down list I can choose whether I want to do bolts and screws, nuts, pins and studs, etc. and so on. Here we have our list of different kinds of fasteners like here we have countersunk bolts, here we have hex bolts. But I am a big fan of socket head screws and again you can choose whether you want to have button cap screws but in this particular assembly what would make sense for me would be a socket head cap screw. And so here we have the ability to choose our size. Let's say I want to drop it into this hole over here. To check the diameter, you have this button that allows you to automatically size it. So I'll click that. And it sizes it to 12-24. Rather than a length of 0.25, I happen to know that I want actually 3 quarters of an inch. And then in order to insert it into the model, you see here when I hover over, it says insert and drag. And you can pre-select edges or faces and then uh, click the insert button or planar faces that contain holes. So for example, let me select this hole over here, then click the insert button. And there you see it gets placed in there. And I can repeat that over on the other side. Select this hole and then click the insert button. And there it gets placed. So that's good for that particular situation. I'm going to hit the check mark. Let's make the parts list or instances list a little bit longer. And there you see the two different components. And in the brackets, or I forget what they're called, uh, you can see that we have the different instance numbers uh, for those components that are placed in here. Let's select this component, and I'm going to use the right mouse button to hide it. There I have a couple other places where I want to insert components. By the way, if I want to figure out what that depth is, I can change the way I'm viewing the model here from shaded to translucent. And I'm going to also change it from the current setting to hidden edges visible. And that way I can say, okay, let's see, where is the bottom of the hole over here? Oh, there it is right over there. So when I pick on it, it tells me the diameter. And then when I left click on this hole over here, it'll tell me that the distance is 33 millimeters. All right, let's change back to, oops. Yep, yeah, that's what I wanted. Let's change back to shaded mode and deselect everything. And first off for these holes, maybe I want to put some washers in there. Uh, so let's go to the insert button and then standard content. I'm going to change from ANSI to ISO. Instead of bolts and screws, let's use the drop down list to change to washers over here. And we have plain washers or hardened washers and chamfered plain normal washer. That's good. And to check the size of the hole, let me select it over here. And it says, yep, M5 is what I should be using for this one. So now for inserting it, again, if I hover my mouse over here, it's going to prompt me that I can pre-select edges or faces of holes and then click insert. So let's do that. Let's select this hole and then this hole and this hole over here. Now we'll go to the insert button. And in this particular situation, I actually got one of them incorrect. Uh, let's hit the check mark and I will figure out which one is wrong. Let's select that one then choose the delete button and go back to my insert standard content. It's got the same washer over here. Let me try selecting this edge instead and then hit the insert button there. That helped to get it in the right location. Okay, for also in that location, let's uh, we're going to stay in ISO, but change from washers to bolts and screws. 
and again stock it head cap screws let's size it over here and for here we get the size adjusted for us automatically the length that I want to use in this particular case, I'm going to use 35 since I threw the washers on there and the original depth was 33. And so for inserting them, let's start by selecting the insert button. And this time, rather than just clicking on the pre-selected surface, you can see as I move it over here, we get the preview as it's placing it on here. Oops, there we go. And then I will left click and that got it in there. And let's repeat that method a couple more times. Again, you can see how it's previewing the placements in there. And once more. And that's good. Let's hit the check marks. And there we got a whole bunch more hardware located in here. If you take a look on the screen, you can see that we have our different mate connectors visible. If you go to the little help drop down menu, you can choose keyboard shortcuts. And down over here, you can see that the keyboard shortcuts are the letters J and K for hiding and showing the mates and hiding and showing the mate connectors. Let me show that to you. So for example, see all those different symbols on there. If I hit the K button on the keyboard, there we're getting all of them and now none of them are visible. And so again, I'm toggling the display. If I hit the J, there you can see that we can see all our different mate features, mate connectors. Here we have both and there we can turn both of those off. You can also insert other different kinds of components like for sheet metal. Let me go to another assembly that I have over here. It's a tray and let's say I want to get some PEM fasteners in here. Let's click on insert and then standard content. And from the drop down list this time, I will change over to PEM. And for self clinching nuts, let's go with the M5 size. This is my sheet metal thickness. That is all good in here. You can see that you also have material and finish that you can choose. And this time for inserting, it'll suggest that, hey, if you select uh, planar faces that contain holes, then you can click insert. So for example, if I pick this surface here and then click the insert button, there we get a couple of the different PEM fasteners in there and then repeat that over on the other side and very just quickly and easily populating my model with the hardware that I need inside of it. One last choice that you have in here if I go to the insert drop down menu and standard content let's change from PEM to SAE. Here you can see that this is another place where you can insert different size O-rings in your model as necessary. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.